Fencing fans, it's Tim from Parrot Fencing. We are fencing contractors down in the southwest of England, so we cover Dorset, a bit of Somerset, and Wiltshire. Uh, here to say that we've brought our second ProTech Compact. We're really chuffed with the first one, and uh, so 18 months later, here we have number two with all the updates that they've put on it for us. So I thought I'd do a little video, talk it round, and then introduce our Parrot Post Plate, which is a product that we will be selling from this year onwards. Um, so here we are, and we like side mounted controls, we're a bit different that way. We've grown up with them on different machines, and so hence we like to work this way round. Some people say it's dangerous, some people say you shouldn't do it, but we like it this way, so we are going to have our machine with side controls on, because it really helps. It's great to see that ProTech are pushing forward with their post knocker technology and what they're doing. They make this such a sound little machine now that can pretty much go anywhere. It's rotable safely for us and can now carry a more impressive load of stakes and timber and wire as we're going out in the field. So just quickly what we've got on this machine, we've kept it fairly standard. So we have very little electronics on here, but ProTech have been put the effort in and put a little boxer across our ignition switch now, which will hopefully improve that. This now has extendable bay, timber bay. So instead of, it used to be just here on our previous machine, they've now sensibly just added some extensions into it and we can carry far more weight in the middle of the machine right next to where we're putting our posts. The engine bay is pretty much unchanged. We always spec them with the blade on the front, always useful pushing off little mounds of soil or trying to get stability on a very steep piece of ground. Uh, the front bay is the same again, which is a nice strong sturdy mount. And you'll be surprised at how much hard ox steel will take in terms of weight. We've had this full of strainers and probably too much and it still keeps going. So a few extra toys, or should I say work enhancements that they've come up with, is this one we've got a hydraulic wire and reeler, which is fantastic. So we can now easily lift three, 400, 500 meter reels of stock mesh or otter wire or whatever we may wish to put on this, then and, and spin it out from the machine hydraulically. So we don't have to break our backs to lift it up. We just bring it out from the machine on some, some pins there, drive into the wire, lift it up, and off we go, spinning it out merrily as we go along the field on this on this disc. It's free to rotate. This is a stroke of genius in my opinion. It's called a track rack or a side loader, whatever they want to call it. These turn around 90 degrees, slot back into their pegs and gives us another rack on this side, which I'd imagine you could easily fit 15 to 20 strainers in or 10 strainers and a few struts. So that's really useful. Plus it gives a counterweight to the weight the other side. Really clever thinking and a you know, really great sign. This whole track is extendable, probably about half a metre-ish. You'd have to contact ProTech if you want to know the exact dimensions, but it kind of comes over here. Gives all that weight up the side of the hill if we're working that side. Um, a great design and we have one speed on this one instead of the larger machines which have two. Around the back here, we've got the great sleevering design that ProTech have done for us on other machines. And so we can bring this 120 degrees roughly over to here. Perfect for a pair of gate posts, that's what we find. Or when we want to work the other side of the hill, it just gives that flexibility. Or when we're tracking up hills, we love you know moving the weight around. And so we're nice and safe whenever we're going anywhere. So the mast system is pretty similar to the other one that we had. It's well weighted. It can take up to probably a 3.6, 12 foot post underneath it by a telescopically going up. Good pulley system, so a short hydraulic length to get a good rise and fall of the weight as the rock spike is now hydraulically put under the weight. This saves any chance of an injury or anyone doing anything stupid. So complete game changer for us. We really like that. We had it on the other one. We will have it on every machine going forward. So the big change now is we've done away with the standard post plate because over the last six years we've been developing our own pace plate it all started when i came back to the fencing company and we brought one of our first track machines and it had a massive spike on it that did untold damage to the top of post my father was not a fan of that being a fence contractor for over 25 years he's always used a machine that hits the top of the post flat and when he saw the damage that these post plates were doing on on the newer machines he wasn't happy so he went to the workshop as a good old fencer does and he came up with this system of pins holding the post um, and that's taken a lot of modifications, but today we're up to the point of these. Different patterns of perfectly weighted pins. So now, okay, so what we mean is it's pretty much knock and drop. So we bring the knocker down onto the plate and you'll see that instantly the pins retract the ones that are underneath it and the other ones will hold firm around the sides. This stops that piece of chestnut wanting to split out. So it supports it while you're knocking it. 
and you can put that piece of timber anywhere you want under here. So it's really useful. We knock a lot of our timber out on this side, so it allows us to look down through the line because we've got really good vision either side of the plates and it's dead flat. So you can see your tops really nicely as you're going along a line. Likewise, I've got a squared piece of timber now. It doesn't matter if you're using 5B3s, 4B4s, 3B3s, 6B5s, whatever you want to put under it. Gate close the lock. You bring it down on top of the wood and I tend to try and align them. So you see here, we've got the pins all around that timber. This really stops the, the post wanting to twist as we knock in. I can't say it completely, you know, takes it away completely. And we still do use a turning bar now and again, but it really helps that that post doesn't want to twist out. So that, that helps us for when we're doing all the uh, post and rail jobs that we do. So another great feature of it. And I'll show you the top of the post to show you what I mean. So, if you have a look now, there is no damage to the top of that post. So water's never gonna get in there. There's going to be no marks so that it can penetrate into that top bits of section through the treatment at the top. So it'll keep that stronger for longer. That's what we really believe and it's why Dad invented this machine. Another feature that we're really proud of in the post plate is actually the finger guards. Um, on previous guards that we've had for other manufacturers, we've had a couple of different machines. They just last probably a few weeks and then normally we smash them off in a hedge somewhere or they you know just disintegrate by themselves from all the shock so we've we've done our own we've grooved it in we've used a high density 10 mil plastic to slide around there that really is strong so obviously it keeps your hands away from the weight and keeps you safe but also stops the posts um you know splashing you on a rainy day and they really are strongly built we've never had one crack we hope we never do but we can probably never guarantee it you know we give our you know our warranty on it that it will last you well it summarizes in kind of six key points knock and drop you drop it down it's easy to use anyone can do it it's very safe you've got excellent vision that you can look through and see posts you've got that control of the post being that the pins drop either side of it there is no damage to the top of the post which is a huge win for that consolidation and no penetration of water into it and it is quick and easy hard years of developing this and actually we have a patent on it which has been approved and we've just had through the post it is going to be available for sale this year if you'd like to know more or have a demo the best person to speak to is the inventor himself so i'd like to introduce you tony parrot the inventor of the parrot post plate hello yes i'm tony parrot yeah um you're welcome to come down to dorset and see these plates working um you can talk to me uh please look at the website details below um, knock and drop.